Hello everyone, welcome to my video on how to photograph your art for Instagram. I've worked in an art gallery here in the UK for three years now and taking photos of all the art and craft for the website has led me to learning a few tips that I want to talk about today. Uh, if you've just started photographing your art for Instagram, doing a couple of things wrong can not only cause you to show your work in a way that does not show it in its best light, but also stops you from having as many people as possible see your work on Instagram. And, you know, I want to help you start from the right place with this video and help you avoid the mistakes I made. So to give you the answer straight up before I get into more detail, paintings and prints should be taken using a natural light if possible in a flat lay fashion, parallel from above with a, rel a relatively new smartphone. Use secondary close-up shots to display the uh, details and try and take 10 so you can fill up all of those uh, slots on Instagram. Now, I do want to mention here that the number of likes, follows and comments you get is not a reflection on the quality of your work. You know, you can be an amazing artist, good at what you do, but even though you're not getting those uh, likes and comments at the moment, that's no reflection on who you are as an artist. So, but to start getting that recognition, start using all 30 hashtags, and I'll go into more on that subject later, but also what I want to mention now is that you want to find other artists, uh, follow them, like them, comment on their stuff, and the goal is for them to do the same back to you, hopefully some will, and that's just you building your exposure there. Um, when it comes to light, going back to the actual photography process itself, uh, use, it, use natural light as I said. Uh, this is an excellent way to give you an even light distribution over the whole thing. Next to a big, big window or out in the garden are great ways of doing this. Uh, but if you haven't got access to that, or if it's dark or whatever, get two softbox lights, have them at a higher angle, pointed down at a 45 degree angle, so you get that even light distribution. Uh, as far as how to position it, lay it on the floor um, in a flat lay fashion, maybe on some white card in the background or whatever background you want to use for branding purposes, whatever matches your personality and make sure that the camera is lined up straight without it being tilted and no angles. You can actually use the grid um, on your camera as I show you here somewhere in the video. Now the props to use are, you know, if you're doing drawings, use pencils, if you're a painter, use paintbrushes. This is a way to tell your story visually. And this basically gives people a glimpse behind the process of the art, because it's not one of these mass produced things, you're an artist, they're getting something unique and you wanna show them that with the props. Uh, when it comes to editing, be careful of over editing, making it too bright, too much sharpness, all this sort of thing. You just want to brighten it up a bit so it pops off the page. Maybe some sort of filter around the edge, but nothing that distorts the image itself. Now, getting back to the hashtags that I was going to talk about earlier, the overall strategy here is to do some upfront research, save them into a file, and then copy and paste them into your future posts. Using every hashtag is going to increase your reach. Now, this is the process. Look at the average number of likes you get on average. And then look at the different art-related hashtags and see what the average number of likes each one gets is. If you match or exceed those likes, use that hashtag. If not, find another. And then find 30 hashtags you can compete on and use all of them. In the future, as you get more likes on your videos and your imagery, use better hashtags that get more likes and you'll get more exposure. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I actually go through a step-by-step -step guide on my website. Um, if you just Google how to photograph art for Instagram, my website product pick tips will come up. I've got an A to Z guide on there. I've got some hashtags for you to copy and paste, just like 10 to get you started. You can add your own. And this can help more people see your stuff. I've also got an infographic on there as well for you to download and use as a reference. Okay, cheers for watching. I hope it helped. See you later.